Josie Lanzi. Welcome to Off the Hook on the Plate. Today we're going to head out 30 miles and sure to come home with a fresh catch of the day. Then we're going to come back here and create yet another Off the Hook recipe. So let's get fishing so we can get cooking. Well, we're here. It's a little bit choppier than we thought, uh, but that's not going to stop us. we got plenty of uh, squid and sardines and we got live pinfish so we're ready to fish let's get fishing it's run of the day but it's a little small so i'm going to put that one back you can always count on the grunts i guess we'll bring you home fresh catch of the day today <laughs> oh we got a few grunts going on here nice size one not bad to start i'm gonna send down a little pinfish here and try to get me a grouper keeper this time take a look at this Nice little red, but it's too small, so we gotta put it back. Nice gag here. What do you got there? Nice gag. Oh, look at that. Another gag. I wanna measure that one. This is too small over here. Gotta send it back. Well, it finally died down. We caught a lot so far, so we're gonna reposition and see if we can catch a little bit more. Uh, so far, we got a bunch of big grunts, but the groupers was all on the side, so. Uh, hopefully we'll catch one, but anyhow, we're still coming home with a fresh catch of the day. Well, we're heading home with a cooler, you half full of grunts, and then the big, big one. So, uh, we got a catch of the day going home today, and I'm going to show you how to make another off-the-hook fish recipe. Well, it was a nice fishing day. We're bringing home the fresh catch of the day, and I got a juicy one to share with you. So, I'll see you back at the house. How to fillet a white front. Okay, after you have actually removed the fillets um, off the fish and the skin and the rib cage is removed, you always have one final step to check. Most of the fish where you see this darker line here also have bones about halfway down. You can feel them. So you want to just take your knife and go along the side of the red line or the darker line and go down until you stop feeling those bones in the center. And these are the bones right here. You can see them. So you want to go ahead and do that with each one. And that's it for basic filleting of a fish. Okay, today we mostly caught uh, white grunts, which are similar in taste as a gray snapper. We have eight small little fillets. And we're going to keep this one very simple. Dinner meal that you can do during the week that will even please your children. So it's taco nights tonight. We're doing fish tacos. Again, we're going to do this really simple drizzle with extra virgin olive oil generously, that'll prevent sticking, and give it great flavor. And the only other thing we're going to add to this fresh fish is just a sprinkle of lemon pepper seasoning. Okay, I've seasoned both sides with just a little drizzle of olive oil and lemon pepper. It's time to take this to the pan. Okay, I did drizzle another tablespoon of olive oil in a pan. It's now time to add our small fillets. Hear that sizzle? That's exactly how hot you want your pan to be for these little fillets. And it will only take a couple minutes on each side. This is super quick. Okay, it literally took only a couple minutes with these small fillets. And let me remind you that all my fish dishes, even though there are local fish mostly caught, that you can always substitute. Let's flip these over. And you can always use an indication that it's time to flip it over when it's white all the way around. Perfect, see? Beautiful. These are going to be perfect for our fish tacos. Okay, on a small tortilla shell, the first thing you want to do is add approximately a tablespoon of your favorite salsa. Next, you want to add a few small fillets. This fish is so tender that it's literally coming apart. Look how beautiful it is. 
So you want to put a few pieces of the fillet, like so. Look at that. Next thing, and this is completely optional, I like to add a little cilantro. Cilantro goes really well with citrus and salsa and goes really well with fish. The next thing is to add a couple tablespoons of your favorite coleslaw. It could be your homemade coleslaw or it could be a store-bought coleslaw. It's whatever you prefer. Fold over your tortilla shell. I like to put the little toothpick to keep it closed. And I like to serve this with sweet potato fries. For some reason, this goes very well with it. And voila, my one, two, three fish tacos. I guarantee you're gonna love these. Thanks for joining me this week. I had a blast. And I'll see you next week for another off the hook, on the plate recipe. Thank you.